I mean, I guess you're here to tell us about the pump yeah, house. Yeah, Nicholas called me and said if I had a chance to come on just in case, really, if you guys had any questions about anything that maybe I could answer <laughs> if Lucy couldn't. <laughs> Okay, we got the plans. I don't know if anybody had a chance to look at them. I've looked at them. I've looked at them. I have. Me too. Looks like we all looked. Sorry, Sarah, I didn't hear you. Yes, I did look also. Does anybody have any questions? Um, I guess has the has the um, historic commission and the uh, cemetery commissioners reviewed this and looked at it and signed off. Uh, I don't. That's a tough I can, one. The, I, I can tell you the historical commission is not. Yeah, I don't think so. Which I think it, I think it's important for both of those groups to voice their opinion and um, add to the conversation. Yeah, which they're probably, I mean, I am working with an architect. I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks, I'll actually have a drawing of what the building will look like when it's built. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if, I mean, we're trying to, in our minds, we're trying to keep it so it, I don't know, how do you say it? So when you drive by the road, unless you're really looking, you won't even know it's there. Yeah. Well, I guess the issue we face tonight is whether we should hold, have a formal site plan review or not. Mm -hmm. And I think once you're talking about input from the other town boards, you're essentially saying, yes, we should. And that's, that's the kind of thing that, people would like to see. I think also, if you're planning any plantings on the cemetery side, that would be good to know about too. Plantings, really what we do plan on doing for plantings is kind of taking, we're gonna bring a tree spade in and we're gonna take out some of the, what do you call it? Probably, I mean, the tree spade could probably handle anything up to about a four inch tree. So anything that where the building's gonna sit instead of just knocking it out and throwing it away, we'll pluck them out and kind of put them to the side and keep them alive. And then once the building's up, we can kind of move them back somewhere to fill in somewhere. Okay, I mean, well, instead, of, instead of going out and buying stuff that's not growing around there, would we'll just use the stuff that is growing around there. That's a great idea. Well, it's good to know, but I, I think it would make the cemetery commission very happy to know that, but, but maybe they should well, get right. a chance yeah, no, to I'm, Yeah, I'm sure everybody would like to know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my first thought was concern about security. And so you're just trying to, I don't want too much. I mean, I know the other water places kind of use the the security level of not being obvious. So I was curious if that was this, but this is a more obvious location. So I like the screening. You're not going to put a fence up or anything, right? We don't want to. No, okay. just to gaze. <laughs> yeah. screen, it is, it's water. You don't want anything to happen with your water systems. Right. If... I mean, excuse me, if the day comes and the DEP requires it, okay. we would look at putting up a fence like kind of what's there, but you can't see, you know, I mean, like a cattle fence. Yeah. Okay. So it's all about kind of unobtrusive. So you don't notice. Exactly. Good. Are you talking about a stick built building or Morton yeah. building? Or? Yeah. Stick built. Okay. Cool. Yeah, the thinking is since the building is locked and it's it should it in as you hopefully it won't be too noticeable, but it shouldn't that should not be an issue. We thought we would put a gate just to separate it from the cemetery, um, but we thought that that should cover it, unless as Wayne said, the DEC in, insists, but they haven't so far. So. Good. 
the DEP. Yeah, I was juggling the nothing terrorist acts. I went down the dark road, but at the same time going, come on, this is Waitley. So. Yeah, right. <laughs> Could, could somebody just put my mind totally at ease about like noise and like reading the material about noise, but you know, it's a booster pump and is this running all the time or are people going to hear it? You know? It will run all the time. Okay. At least one of the small pumps will be, if not some, yeah, I mean, there could be a combination of a few pumps running at a time. The pumps themselves from outside, I would say you'll never even know when they're on. The only noise you might hear is when the power goes out, if the generator comes on. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but the pumps themselves, I can't tell you for sure, but I would be 99% positive from the outside of the building, you'll, you will not hear them. So like if there's a big wedding next door at Quan Quant, no one's going to be bothered by a whining pump sound. Or a the barrel. Pump. No. I mean, the, other, the only thing I'm, I would say the only thing you're ever going to hear out of there would be the generator that's outside if that ever came on. Yeah. What was your comment, Tom? Well, a wedding or a burial, depending on which side of the fence you're on. Yeah. Well, the cemetery is a lot closer. Yeah. Um, in addition to having them on sleds, is there proposed extra insulation in the building? Is that would keep the um, or noise barriers in the construction of the building to keep noise down? Yeah, the, the we're planning on spray foam in the walls for insulating. So yeah, I mean, it should be you shouldn't hear anything. I mean. The, there's similar pumps that are in the booster station at Westbrook and you can stand right on top of the cover over there when they're on and not hear them. Okay. And in terms of the road, um, you've got the, the bituminous apron coming in off of North Street. Is the rest of the road going to be maintained as a, as a dirt country road or is that going to be paved? No, we're going to... The road to actually get in to the building will be the, the far northerly cemetery road that's there now. So we just leave, it'll all stay gravel. Okay. We had actually showed it being paved just up to the maybe, pump station, but yeah, you don't maybe have the, to. Yeah, maybe the little bit to the pump station might get paved, but I think everybody was talking just leave it gravel. So it kind of all <laughs> blends in. That's fine. And um, how many how many trips per day in that road do you think there'd be just in terms of routine activity? Honestly, when it's all set up, unless something goes wrong, really, I should never have to go into it. <laughs> it An optimist. Yes. Well, the optimist yes. view. That building, I mean, there'll be... They call it, it, there'll be stuff in that building that will talk to the main plant down off a chest of behind Munier's. And I'll be able to watch from down here what's going on in that building. I mean, otherwise, maybe once a day I'll drive in there just to check on things. Good. So do we need a site plan review or not? I don't think we've waived one since Brett was on the board and I don't know about Tom, but no. we have done that in the past when we felt that the application was straightforward enough and there were few enough issues that, that it wasn't necessary. I unfortunately we probably should. I mean, the cemetery and historical, you're right in the middle of town. Yeah. And it's a scenic road, and yeah, I think also probably politically it doesn't look good to let a town board get off when private citizens don't. So, <laughs> and it's a sacred ground. We don't have time to put it on 
on the agenda for the 27th, fortunately, because there are already three public hearings that night. But we are scheduled to meet with FERCOG on the 11th. And I don't think it will be a long public hearing. Would it be all right to do it af after that? I understand the town is in quite a bit. Would like to get this done as fast as possible, I think, at this point. Am I right? Wayne, you want it quick? This? Yeah, it'd be nice because I think they'd want to, I think everybody wants to get started building. But if, I mean, if it were, if we waited two weeks till the, normally we meet at the end of the end of the month, the last Tuesday, like. Yeah. And so that would be, I don't have a calendar in front of me, but you know, last week in May. Um, last week in May is the 20, the last Tuesday in May is the 25th. Is that my, no uh, Memorial Day is the thirty first, the following Monday. Okay, that's a help. The eleventh isn't um, is we don't have enough time to do the eleventh. Well, I don't know um, if if you don't have the architectural plans by then, Wayne. I don't. That's I a month away. You, it's a month yeah, away. You should. I should because, I mean, I've been talking with them. They told me, you know, what I mean, it's not a. They said it shouldn't take them long to draw something up because it's, I mean, if you really think about it, it's really just a shed. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing big about it. So they should be able to get them quick. I was just, you know what I mean? We're just trying to hash out the final, what do you want to call it? Details. Yeah, you know I mean, like what color roof do you want to put on it? What color yeah. siding do you want to put on it? Which I don't know. Yeah, you know I mean, maybe it's better. Yeah, you know I mean, maybe I shoot an email to the historical society and the cemetery commission and see what they think. Well, I you know. think once we've agreed, we need to have it. They will get notified. It. We'll see that they get notified. The historical commission does anyway. Yeah. And we can make sure that the cemetery commission hears about it. Um, How do people feel about doing it on the 11th? That would certainly make the towns, the water boards happier. Doesn't seem like it has to be a long conversation. Yeah. Well, we're booked with FERCOG at five, so we could say six. Sure. Does that work for you, Does that work for you Wayne? Yep. On Tuesday, whatever the works, yeah, whatever works for you guys. Does that work for you, Mary? Yep. That's the most important. That's <laughs> why I check. I hate to break this to you, Wayne, but the water department, I think, is going to have to pay for the legal ads. So we can, we can, we'll work that out with Lynn. There <laughs> goes my water bill. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One pocket to another. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Anything else on that? See you on the 11th. <laughs> All Thank right. You. All right. We'll see ya. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see. <clears throat> Just us. Minutes. So Should which do you want to start with? <laughs> I, I just like to say that could thank Mary for the heroic job of producing these minutes. They were very complicated, extra layered. They look like they were, it's an onion trying to keep notes on to, to people describing an onion. It's a, uh, thank you, Mary. You're welcome. <laughs> it really brings the meetings back. <laughs> it really, it really does. It's a blow by blow account. So let's start with the oldest first. Which way? I did, <laughs> October 
And I guess I'll just note that in the OneDrive, the 27th of October, 2020 is the first folder that has minutes in it. There, don't, there are not minutes for the October 13th or any prior meeting. Well, except there is for August 25th. Well, hopefully they'll all be published online on the town website once Mary gets them in. Okay. Yep. So the 27th, October 27, 2020. Yeah. Now, Brant had a couple of changes and I had a couple. I don't know if people have seen them. I haven't had a chance to open my emails on a lot of this stuff, so I probably haven't. I've got some printed copies for a lot of them. And if it's not too lengthy, I could jot them in or I could go find them in my email if you if that's what you sent. Uh, well, I... So certainly my changes were only, they were only like changing typos and spelling my last name correctly. Yeah. Oh dear, I got it wrong. In Judy's <laughs> remote got all of them, I, <laughs> and copy editing. I think I think they're in good shape. Yeah. I didn't read anything that I that I felt I just did that I didn't recall happening or anything like that. Yeah. Okay, mine were pretty small changes. The one thing you you are lacking the what page are we on? The last page you're you don't have the letter that Chris Chamberlain sent to Don and I couldn't find it in my files either, mm. but we'll get it. So maybe if you ask Don, if he can send it to you. Yeah, I'll, I'll check with him. It's, the letter is from Carol and A-I Annis, A-N-N-I-S. Oh, the, oh, her her last name is A I N I S. No, her husband's yeah. name is A I. A I is his first name. Okay. And the last name is A N. So, so it's Carol and A I. Yep. And A I. So that that appears in the text too, but if you if you find the oh I, yeah I'll, I I'd like to fix the text. I, <laughs> my, yeah, well. You'll, you'll see the version that, that um, Brant and I edited, so it's pretty clear there. Okay. Their last name is Annis or Annis? Annis with an A. And I don't know if AI is written A, little I or A, big I, but I don't think it matters. Okay. Only if it's artificial intelligence. <laughs> So, Brant, what, what is the spelling of your last name? It's a C-H-E-I-K-E-S, and you were just doing an I-S. Yes, okay. So is there anything else in here? I don't mind fixing typos. It's <laughs> I don't rather not send it over for publication full of stuff. If, if people have little things, that's fine with me. Yeah. Well, or do you people. want us to read them now or, or? or no? So there, you you said you sent them. Yes. yes. So I should find them in there. And there's actually just, it's in the OneDrive folder for. The I'll go video. to the OneDrive. Okay. Um, I did have one question on on page two. The text on the. I don't know if this printed out the same way you had it, but the the paragraph that starts the next discussion. I've got that. Yeah. It says that Jared confirmed that an on site well currently pumps water into two reservoirs. Are they irrigating on that field now, or is that a future site? Well, I, I had another thing in the note that said no wells yet. And I thought, did they? I didn't put that in the minutes because I was unsure of it. I didn't know if they meant there might be more wells later yeah we, we discussed that and that, that they would have to go to the water commissioners for approval of that for approval of the one well that to, if they were going to do additional wells 
to add additional wells. So the, you figure there's well, not there's one well. No, they have to go to the water commissioners if they take it out of town water. Yeah, not for not for drilling. They can well. take it out of the existing wells and they can put in more points. But I they weren't doing more points now, but didn't John say they have some already? Right. Okay, well, if the well okay. is there. So so she's got it changed here. But that was I confirmed that in the a later meeting we had. Yeah, well. But of course, I probably missed it in this one or didn't remember. It does sound familiar to me, so maybe it's in the next one. <laughs> yeah. No, well, you you had it that it currently pumps, and and that's if so probably that's right. I just I think I was remember. concerned with them taking it out of the Mill River because that the Mill River has enough issues without being used much for irrigation, and I think John said they had wells already. So, mm. do I have a motion to approve as amended? So moved. Second. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you, Mary. Um, November 10th. Month. November 10th, yeah. I had a couple of small changes and a question. Um, and you can find the changes and I think Grant fixed his name and had a couple of typos fixed. In, in the list of names at the top, you have BJ and then Scott. Is that supposed to be one? Person BJ Scott. That's or? all I had. I, I can't. They were separate in the notes. They didn't look like they were together. Uh, some of what shows up on people's labels isn't really too informative. But, and sometimes you get somebody using his wife's. Okay. Well, if you. I, I don't know anything about BJ or Scott or whether they're the same person. Well, but uh, it, the way it was looking in in the notes apparently looked like usually I draw a circle around it or something to connect them, but I do write okay. fast, so maybe it's uh, is, is Brian Brian Domino. Well, you know, <laughs> I left it the way it was in the notes, hmm. and then I went through to see. Did Brian say anything during the meeting? And I had nothing down. So I don't really know that either, <laughs> except that there, there was, I suppose he might have said something that just didn't make it into the notebook, but it. I don't think he was there. So I could we use his. So if we didn't change our name, in a timely manner, it would still come up. Because when I go into his, when I initiate the meeting, I have to change my name from Brian. So if Don or I initiated it, it would come up initially as Brian. Well, it could have been that. <laughs> I try to catch them all really soon and then check once or twice later because while I'm writing, I can't really tell who's coming and going. But He I did attend one though, didn't he? Hmm. I mean, not recent. I mean, th th these lists are never guaranteed to be inclusive anyway. And they were yeah. even when we met in person, it, you know, people have a choice of whether to sign their names or not on a sheet of paper. So yeah. I think he attended the previous one where we talked about should we should we change it or not? but I could be wrong. I could just take it out because I don't, you know, especially with what Sarah just said about it, might've just been a misID of the login. <laughs> yeah. and, and there was no notation of anyone named Brian having participated. 
which sometimes happens, but. <laughs> Yeah. Well, any comments or questions about the edits that were made? Anything else? Motion to approve? We'll second okay. that. And I should just go to um, one drive to see whatever. I mean, is this all there? There wasn't really. It's just Brian uh, Brant's name and deleting Brian's name? Well, there are a few little edits that got made throughout the document. Okay. Just so as, as, long, as long as people are voting on that and I can go ahead and, and yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and I've been careful to make sure at least if, if anyone is circulating anything as an email attachment, I'm throwing it into the OneDrive. And I think this is the one Judy, where I made edits and then you made follow-up edits and you did it right here in the OneDrive. Because I see your comment here in the OneDrive. Well, I think it was the other way around, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. I think it was the first one that I did it that way. And Mary, at the late on page, I guess it's page four of the document, you had something in highlights about parking area shall be separated from any residential use by 20 feet. And you say, this is in my notes, where does it appear in the bylaws? And I think it was Judy who added the bylaw paragraph there. So yeah, I think you should be set. Okay, that, that yeah, I remember that thing. <laughs> um, did you get your answers to the yellow highlighted things, Mary? Do you have one? Um, yeah, where does I'm it just... appear in the bylaws about the parking? Yeah, that's what he was just That's addressing. what Grant was just talking I, about. I, I okay. gave her the paragraph. Oh, that's, we now see the 171.13. Gotcha. And um, I had one other question at the back when you uh, cite the... Which, which, <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Oh, you know what? I, I printed these maybe without color this time. Okay, it's page three. Uh, and which one is it? November 10th or October? November 10th. November 10th on page three. Uh, under Attorney Peter Irvine. Oh, yes, I see it. Right, 171-13A, point F, comma, page, 1, page 18. Okay, thank you. And the last of when you, the site plan for one-way screening, it's spelled Watley, not Waitley. I assume that's, that's their mistake. Oh. Uh, very last page, last thing. I was a mistake. I remember they had missed. Oh, yes, yeah, so I, I did a cut and paste on that. So <laughs> okay, I, it looked like it. Just checking. If you want to ID it, absolutely, we should leave the error in. <laughs> no, you should. You should you leave the error in. Leave it in. You should, because yeah. that's what it says. Yep, that's what it says. So we have... October 27th and November 10th approved as amended. November 24th. I'm sorry. No, November 24th. Yeah. Okay. Oh, of course. Well, my name is misspelled. Sorry to just keep bringing that. Yes, up. I know. I'll, I'll, I'll try and fix it <laughs> everywhere it appears. I, I think I got off. I yep. probably couldn't tell what I scribbled I from E in the very beginning when you first joined. Right. right. <laughs> this one, I guess I hadn't looked at. These are very, very good minutes, Mary. I... Oh, thanks. Oh, I know. Page two here. I see there was uh, the third little paragraph. It starts with Tom stated that the board needs to have a toolkit. And then there was a Judy suggestion that the site plan approval will be conditioned for a period of X time. I don't know if we even need that. It didn't, I mean, I don't know if it wound up 
in the I don't know if you need it. If you if you do, just put in X. X. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I was not right. specifying a time. Maybe that's why I didn't have a time. <laughs> Maybe it was just. Yeah, I'll do that. And you have the edits I made. Well, they're up. They're up on the OneDrive. So I'm, not, I'm not in OneDrive. I I don't. But I want to make sure you can, I don't go looking for something and cancel out the Zoom meeting. <laughs> um, no, well, don't worry about it. But you can find them. Is I oh yes, yes, I, I can find them. I have access to it. Uh, but in fact, maybe I can get them right now. I would like. Well, that's okay. It's, and drive town of Whiteley. So any other comments on this? Motion to accept. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Brant, I've got um one drive open. Did you yeah. say? I don't see a folder for minutes. Are it, it's under it meetings. meetings? It's on. Oh, okay. It's within. All right. In meetings. And then by year. And twenty twenty. So the draft minutes are there. Okay, and I see one that says Judy Markland. Slowly it opens. Really trivial change, very tiny edits. There we are. Okay, and they're in green. Yeah, that, that all, I won't have any trouble with that. That, that all looks obvious. Okay. Anyone else? What a docile crowd, boy. <laughs> we don't live in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Motion to accept. So Second. Second. Sarah, you've got to start saying it loud. You're not getting any of these in. <laughs> Second. Can we get points? <laughs> So now we go into 2021. Uh, December 15, do we do that? That's what we're just doing. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. we just did. Oh, we did do, do, okay. Did we? I thought we just did November 24th. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay. Well, December 15 then. Okay. I have no opinion. I was not there. Very thorough. Any, anything you two have beyond what I did? I'm good. good. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Yes. And so moved and seconded. Um, January 26th. Oh, wait a second. So in the OneDrive folder for January 26, 2021, well, at least the minutes in that folder are dated January 26, 2020 at the top. But yeah, maybe that's there's, there's, a, there's a something I didn't catch. But oh. the first thing they say is you continue, the public hearings continued from December 15, 2020. Right, okay. So the, it is, should be at 2021 at the very top. 
And really, I was missing from that meeting. Nicholas was there. How could, why was Nicholas at the meeting in January of 2021? Maybe this got missed by me the same way January 26, 2020 did. Uh, <laughs> I remember there was one that you weren't there for, but I think you've only missed one since you joined. That's what I believe. It was the, the one in December. Yeah. And, and there was no overlap with Nicholas. No. Right. So let's see. I can go so back. Take off Nicholas and add Brent. Yeah, especially since my name appears later in the minutes. So I was obviously Well, there, there you go. <laughs> Unless I come off bad in these minutes, in which case, just leave Nicholas. <laughs> So let's see. And then there are some other things. In Page two. Yep. Yep. Okay. Is that the proper spelling of Tony Wanseski? He's Wanseski. Okay, not Wanseki. Okay. This one's. is for, uh, this is the one on Masterson Road, is that right? This is Masterson Road. I'll double check his, his name. I think it's one Secchi, but that's, it could be how it's pronounced. It could be, I will double check. In which case it's wrong in the previous one too. Right. Where would his name, I'm looking at the documents associated with the thing, where would Tony's name appear? What I'm document? Not... Like the a &R plan? Maybe? Would he be on the engineering plan? I don't think he drew those plans. So I... hmm. He's not on this special permit. That's you certainly say it one secchi I... no she's right um mary's right i see it in one of the special permit documents uh it's the special permit application and it's got a he's a civil engineer it's Anthony Wonseski, W-O-N-S-E-S-K-I. Okay. Point to Mary. Okay. Um, I do, I did just cruising over on page two, um, fifth line up from the bottom, qualific fee actions yeah. so just my, a very small my spelling thing. isn't so good no it's hard to see the spell check line and the underline at the same time where are we looking i just fixed it in the one drive i inserted judy noted it would be impossible to enforce any of these oh qualifications yeah <laughs> Are we thinking and reading or are we falling asleep? <laughs> um, I'm definitely reading. Okay. Just checking.
All right, the, I think that all looks, the rest looks good to me with the correction of various little typos. So move to approve as amended. I'm not sure everybody's finished reading. Uh, okay, I withdraw my motion. I unmove. I don't know. Tom? I'm good. I'm good too. So January Remove. Remove. <laughs> I move yet again to approve the minutes as amended. Let's second that one. February 9th. We have to vote. Oh. <laughs> Aye. Aye. <laughs> Unanimous. So we're going to February 9th now. Is that what you said? Yep. Yeah. yeah. I didn't edit this because I recused myself from the hearing. So I didn't think I should comment, but um, two things in the Zoom guests. Uh, Hold on a moment, please. I'm, I got to get to February 9th. Okay. So this is uh draft minutes in the one yep, I'm, I'm just backing out of january 26th there yeah, yeah. It's, it looks like it's loading it's just taking a little while any minute there we go Okay, I'm in uh, with the document. Where where are we talking about? Well, Neil's name is Doc D A C H. Oh, that must yes. Mm -hmm. I think that's the only place I had the wrong key. And Jared works for DMTC, not Waitley Real Estate Holdings. Oh my goodness. He's just so ubiquitous, you assume he was. Yeah, he's here. everywhere. He goes to all of them now. <laughs> medical condition treatment centers. If I correct this here, will that stay? Yes. If you save it, it'll stay. Okay. All right, what else? Do we have? Hmm. So given this, oh no, oh, never mind. Neil, Neil is with, uh, with the LaSalle operation, that's right. Okay. Yeah, Neil and Jared, for some reason, they're a little they seem interchangeable. In yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they look, in my head, they look very much alike. Yeah. So it looks like I see highlighted in yellow that I owe you language. I think she's gotten it. 
Okay. Well, do you, Mary? I was pretty confused about what it was at the time, except that I, I kind of thought I had figured out that I thought he sent it to the board via chat during the meeting. I, I did. I remember that. I just don't, I, I wasn't included in that. I sure. don't, I, I never got, I, I, I never saw it. I don't believe. Understood. Now, one thing I can tell you is that that language is in the final site plan conditions for Seven River Road, which is in the OneDrive, or um, which I'm looking at right now. I'm copying it. Like Mary, if I put this language in the chat now, here and now, would that help you? Could you copy that? Or how do you want this language? If you put it where? In the chat for this current Zoom meeting, as I've just done. Well, I don't, I don't do chat. I'm not sure what that means. Okay, then let's try <laughs> something else here. Um, what's the best way for me to give you the language you're looking for in these? Copy minutes? and paste it and put it in the in the um, documents yeah. reviewed section. Documents. At the end, after adjournment. Okay. All right, Mary. Um, just, just put a headline on it. It's something like "chat message from Jared." Right. During right. the meeting, and then All quote right. the words. So this might be item four. So I could do something like four. So we don't need a document. Then this will be right. it. It'll be right there. Um, yeah. Message from Jared Berger. All right. I'm going to try this. Now, Mary, you have this uh, minutes document open? Yes. Should I close it and reopen it? No. Um, let me try. Let's. Save your version of it. Let me know when you've done that. I've done that. Okay. Let me see if you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to save this in the folder. I'm just going to add in the same folder as these minutes in OneDrive for February 9th. I'm just adding a version uh, of the minutes document that has plus BAC at the end of the file name. And I added that little bit about the chat message at the end. Okay. So there will just be two documents for that date for minutes. Yeah, you're, I, I think you'll, you, you'll just incorporate that into your document. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I was just, I was a little nervous until I've done this with OneDrive to have two people having the same document open and making changes to that same document. I wasn't confident yet that OneDrive yeah. will- Well, the um, next time I- Merge you know, everything. Next time I can close it out and- if, if yeah. it need be, and if somebody's writing in it, they can have it all to themselves. I'll tell you what, why don't you close your document out for now and just tell me when you've done that. It's closed. Okay. And I see your additional one there. Okay, now don't do anything yet. No. Nope. All right, we were in meetings of February 9th. I'll go into your original document. And okay. And we save it. Now 
No one else has the document open, right? No? Okay, well, I guess I tell you what. It's not letting me save it for some reason. Okay, Mary, you should now be able to safely open the one with the plus BAC at the end. And that's your new working draft with, that, with your changes and the addition of the language from Jared Glansberger at the end. Okay. You can delete the other one then, presumably. Yeah. Um, I just want tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, uh, I'm going to just change the file name to just say deletable. <clears throat> okay. So are we done with February 9th? Motion to accept. Oh, so moved. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. I recused Mary. I think that's all I had, am I? That was uh, that was you, Judy, who recused? Yes. Yeah. So we're current through February 9th, is that right? Yay. Mary, you'll get those to Lynn and Amy? Yes, I will. <clears throat> After you rest up, oh, you know, there was there was also I ran across this thing about a planning board meeting on the 4th of August. The meeting was scheduled for five o'clock and we hadn't gotten into a five o'clock swing yet. And I didn't join until 630. I had forgotten I was out of the house and I forgot about it. And I, I came in at 630 after it had already been going for an hour and a half. And th that was when everybody in Waitley lost power in a storm. And only Judy was on because I came in, you were using a battery device. Well, no, I, I get it. I had it on data, cell data. My iPad does both Wi-Fi and data down. Well, the, the, the only thing is I, I really didn't, I wasn't at any of the meeting. People were talking when I came in but I couldn't write any minutes because I'd missed the whole thing. We never came back to the meeting after the power outage. Uh, Didn't somebody I, send you, I thought I sent you something. Well, I, I look, I'll look again I'll, because- I'll that, go back and see what I can That find. was my first thought was that Judy probably wrote the minutes for this. I can remember saying the minute, the writing something to the effect that the, meaning terminated abruptly due to a power shortage or something, power outage. Mm. Well, I, I will. I'll, I'll see if I can find something. Okay. Just out of curiosity, what date was that? August 4th, she says. Okay. Yeah, that was August 4th. On August 25th, I have an email from Judy forwarding draft minutes from the August 4th meeting. Okay, let me, <laughs> I will check again for that. And that did 
go to you. Okay. And that was pre grants time. <laughs> so presumably we approve those later. So they were sent on. Um, they were originally sent on the 10th. And then they were resent by Judy on the 25th and with a note, see you at five. Originally on the, okay. So it might say on the minutes of the 25th, whether they were approved or not. Oh yes, the minutes of August 4th were unanimously approved. <laughs> on fifth. Check. I'll just have to <laughs> get a copy of them. I that that certainly makes sense to me. So I probably have them. I had them on the 25th, no doubt. Mary, just out of curiosity, I'm curious what the ZBA did about urban grown. Well, there was a, a problem with, we couldn't hold the, uh, the, whatever date it was scheduled for, we had to move it because although I had advertised in the paper and sent out the mailings and everything announcing, you know, the legal notice, I forgot to send it to Lynn and it didn't get posted. So we held the meeting and immediately continued it. And we're going to, let's see what, we're doing an extra meeting for those guys too. On, uh, hmm. It's this month. I think okay. we can look on the, nothing happened. Third week, but no, no, nothing's happened. It's still okay. 22nd. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> we will, we will address right, put that on my calendar. I want to go back again. Yeah. They are very entertaining gentlemen. 